Hello, good evening. How are you? Hi, hi. Hello, hello. Hello, no lo oigo. Good evening, teacher. Hey, good evening. Yo dije, uy, ¿qué pasó? Uy, ¿qué pasó? How are you today? It's very <coughs> busy. Very busy. <laughs> sí. The vacation is closed. You will have vacations, right? Only? Yes. Oh, really? So sorry. I thought, I thought you were going to have more days. And what about the others? How many days are you going to have for vacation? Hmm? I'm going to have from Monday to Friday. You have all the week, right? That's nice. That's an advantage of being a teacher. <laughs> right? Teacher, and we are going to have the whole week classes. No, 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 no. We will be on vacation. You will have all vacation all the week. So you can go and rest and sleep a lot. Because you will have all the vacation, all the week. All the week will be vacation. Mm -hmm. From one to seven, those are the days, from one to seven. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to worry about, uh, about having classes during that week because you will be completely, completely free. Toda la semana. What a nice news. Yes, definitely. Is it always the same or is, is it the first time? I don't remember really. I don't remember, but uh -huh. at least this year, we will have all the week because I really don't remember what happened last year. My first course last year was started in September. So I don't know what happened last uh -huh. year. Yeah, I was here since June last year, but I don't remember. I don't remember if we were if we were free the whole week. But remember that some years the vacation, especially this August vacation, is kind of strange because it begins in the middle of the week and it's not like like this year, right? <clears throat> this year we're having a vacation that is it's not normal for this time of the year to have a vacation like that because we usually uh, have beginning on Wednesday and then the weekend is on the middle. And so it's the first time, what I remember, it's the first time that we have a vacation uh, starting on the first and finishing on the seventh. Because the vacation that we usually have like that is a holiday, right? The, the, the Holy Week. That is 
like that, but this one. Mm. No, so that's why I was asking. Uh huh. But yes, we have the whole week. They already told us. But we're not supposed to tell you yet. Okay. <laughs> We're not supposed to tell it, but of course, if you have plans, you can make your plans, right? But remember that we go this week as normal, right? And then we continue later as normal too. Vamos a ver who are, oops, who are here? Adriana, Sofia. Déjeme ver si... Adriana Marcela is here. Yes, teacher. Ah, vaya, oh, sí, ya me la, ya me la. Claro que las leyes, pues, eh, deben de disminuir los requisitos. No, no. Y sobre Dame todo, los... menos controles. Pues dígame. Está en las casas y en las Dame los agregados. Para que eh, sí. la oferta. Ok, thank you. Va, ya me los agregaron, Adriana, oye. Ok, ya. thank you, teacher. En la lista. Vamos a ver. Adriana Sofía. Present. No. Ok. Ana. Present teacher. Ana Grisel. Present teacher. David Alexander. Present teacher. Solo que todavía estoy trabajando, teacher. Vaya, David. Diego. Diego No, ya Diego todavía Edwin Present teacher Elda Cristina Present teacher Fabricio Present teacher Grace Michelle. Present teacher. Yvonne Marcela. Jennifer Elizabeth. Jennifer Elizabeth. Jessica Lisette. Jose Alberto. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Lisa Dayanara. Present teacher. Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Rebeca Marcela. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Víctor Manuel. Víctor Manuel. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Adriana Marcela. Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. José Alfredo. José Alfredo nos guía ayer. Ok. Bueno. Present teacher. Hi, José Alfredo. Hi, hi. Pensé que ya no me habían agregado. ¿Cómo no? Ya lo agregaron. Aquí está de, de al final. Pero okay. aquí. Very good. Bueno. Let's begin. Okay. Um, remember, <clears throat> remember yesterday, vamos a compartir acá. Yesterday, we were talking about a new product, right? Which are the steps to develop a new product? And today, you will put that into practice and you're going to create your new product. Okay, but shall I already share there? 
and let's here. Okay, there we go. <coughs> We're going to be using the present perfect today. So how to use the present perfect, right? A part of talking about what we were talking about yesterday, about the product development, right? What are uh, the ideas? So what are the steps that we need to follow to develop a product? I'm just going to um, go over here quickly and then you will give a check to the definitions that we were mentioning yesterday, right? A ver, which is number one? Which is the first step? Idea generation. Idea generation, yes. Number two? <clears throat> which is number two? Idea screening. Mm -hmm. Number three? Concept development and testing. Okay, number four? Business analysis. Yes. Number five? Product development. Mm -hmm. Number six? Test marketing. Number seven? Launch. And number eight, the commercialization, right? Yeah, we said that we were going to change those two. Now, <laughs> I want you to uh, remember what is the definition, right? Or what you can get, what information you can get about these key terms in the lesson. We have the prototype that was mentioned yesterday. Ajá, Elmer. Ah, no, Elmer. Sorry, teacher, sorry. Okay, so we have the prototype the target audience, what do we refer to when we say a target audience? So what, what is the target audience? What is manufacturing and what is positioning, right? What do these words mean? What do you think? Mm -hmm. What is prototype? Tell me in your own words, right? What is prototype? One example, one volunteer. The idea of the product that you imagine. Mm -hmm. Karen está aquí, verdad? Karen está aquí. Karen Stephanie, are you here? Yes, yes, yes. Aquí está. de que no había nadie, Karen. Hablando de 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 Pero quiero hilar. Me quiero ir al otro comunicado, al que recién acaba de llegar. Bye. Por favor, fíjese que, bueno, que ya ni me fijé cuál era el código de este, pero el otro era como 837. Uh -huh. Sí, pero puede ser que haya sido el mismo del curso pasado, seguramente. Bye. A ver, so you have there prototype, target audience, manufacturing and positioning. Eh, what is prototype? 
uh, prototype could be um, a, a model of the product, uh, a sample, how, how it will be. Uh, that could be a prototype. Yes. Let me show you here. So we say prototype. Yes, let me see. Prototype is like the sample we said, right? Like the sample of, of what? Of the product. Like the sample of the product, exactly. That's like the sample of the product. So we have the product and we create a, a sample. Oh, remember we were saying yesterday that first we have the, the idea, then we put it in a sketch, right? <laughs> we do the, the drawing of the idea that we had. And then after we had the idea, we go to fabricate, and we can say, we can start making, right? Or representing the product using the materials that would be like pre-production, right? The pre-production, because it's not the final thing, it's just the first product, right? Pre-production model of a product, engineer for full service test. So after you make the prototype, you have to analyze it, right? Test it and check if it is what you really expect. And if no, you take you do the necessary changes and then you test it again, right? <laughs> so at the end, it's on achieving the desired results, the product is approved for volume production. So once you uh, accept it, or you say yes, now it is the one we want, we go for the big production. Okay, what is tar target audience? What does it mean? What is target audience? Your market, the people that you want to uh, llegar, uh, arrive. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's a particular group of people, right? So you have um, my target audience for this product is women. Or my, my target product, my target audience, right? For this product is boys or is men. But you can have, a, you should have clear who are you directing the product to? So who is that particular group of people you want to make the product for? Identify, the, this group of people is identified as the intended recipient of an advertisement or message, right? So that is the, the target population or the target audience. So whatever you do, the commercials, the message, all the advertising will be directly to that target audience, right? Okay, what about manufacturing? What is manufacturing? <clears throat> the, pro the process of doing something. Mm -hmm. The process? To do something. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you have the process of converting raw material that is like the material that you buy for making the product, right? La materia prima, that's the raw material. The components, so if you're using a zipper, all the things that you're going to put to the product that you're, that you're creating or parts into finished goods. Remember what is a good? Not like the adjective, oh, this is very good. Mm -mm. When we're talking about goods, 
we refer to bienes, right? Los bienes. So those are finished, <coughs> sorry, finished goods. For example, if you're making a bag, when you finish the bag, that's the finished good. <coughs> sorry. Okay, uh, that meet a customer's expectations or, expect or specifications. Remember the expectations are what people are waiting to find or to receive in the product, right? <coughs> what are the specifications? Mm-hmm. Like, size, <coughs> like, like, size, color. <coughs> mm -hmm. Like, size, color the kind of material that you're going to use to do the product. Mm -hmm. The specifications, the raw material is the material you're going to use to do the product. What is, but what is the specifications? What does it mean? <clears throat> Mm -hmm. How do you say tamaño, teacher? The size. The size, exactly, and uh -huh. the dimensions that the products have to have. To have. Uh -huh. Exactly, exactly. The dimension, if it, if it is a cell phone, for example, the camera, all the characteristics that you have, that you may have in the product are the specifications, right? If you if, imagine if, Let's think about a bag, right? If you're making a bag, when you talk about the specification, you can tell me how many bags or how many pockets it has. If it has a zipper, how many zippers does it have? If uh, you're going to hang it on, a, on one side, or how, or what is the way you're going to hang it? How are you going to use it? Those are the specifications, right? All the characteristics that the product may have. Those are the, the specifications. And then we have manufacturing commonly employs a man machine set up with division of labor in a large scale of production and man machine that means you use a machine but also that machine is controlled by men so it's not just the machine uh, machines cannot work alone right so you have a machine that is controlled by men or that is supervised by a man okay any question about the manufacturing? No? No, teacher. Now, let's go to positioning. What is positioning? Mm -hmm. Maybe reaching a place in the market? Yes. Yes. That's a marketing strategy that aims or follows uh, the position, right, to, the, to make a brand occupy a distinct position. And remember, you are competing, right? When you get a product or when you create a new product, you are competing against other brands or other stores. And for example, the customer always says, 
uh, Coca-Cola is better than Salva-Cola, is better than Pepsi-Cola. Another can say, no, for me, Pepsi is better than Coca-Cola. So they, they are competing, right? They are competing. Where? In the mind of the customer. Because the customer is always giving a, like a qualification saying which product is better than the other. Thinking about the competing brands, right? Companies apply this strategy either by emphasizing the distinguishing features of the brand, what it is, what it does, and how it does it, okay? So remember, uh, we have been talking about creating a necessity on the people. If people do not have the necessity, create it, right? Create it if you want to sell the product. But how are you going to do it? Telling people what your product is, what your product does, how it will facilitate your life, right? It, we know that we humans love things that will make our life easier, right? If no, the washing machine will not be so famous, right? Uh, and for example, a, a dishwasher, before you wouldn't see a, a dishwasher in El Salvador, right? They were not common. People said, mm -mm, no, I prefer to wash the dishes my own. But now you go to stores and you see washing machines in the stores in El Salvador. Who has a washing machine? Raise your hand. Okay. <clears throat> How do you feel about that, Anna? It's helpful at home. <clears throat> uh, make me uh, make me more efficient with uh, make me more efficient during the day doing different thing in the machine was is working when I was doing something else. Exactly. And the cloth is clean. Oh, and but then is. you have a, a, a washing machine. Uh, what about a dishwasher? No, I don't have it. No dishwasher? No. Somebody has a dishwasher? Do you think that one day, as Anna was talking about the washing machine, you can do lots of things, right? And the machine is washing for you. Do you think that one day, uh, dishwashers will be part of the Salvadorian culture? Hmm? Not, it isn't. No? Why not? Okay. And the reason is for the um, economic, uh, economic uh, thing. Is not at the risk of the everybody's Salvadorian. <clears throat> okay. So you think people will continue thinking that a, a dishwasher is too expensive? Yes, I think it's a luxury. It's a luxury. Maybe, yes. but for example. Mm -hmm. So you maybe in uh, in hotels maybe they you maybe they use a the restaurant big restaurants a hotels places like that maybe will be useful mm -hmm. having this dishwasher but a uh, wearing at home or use it, use it at home as Adriana say said is luxury i think okay what do you think if they do this they may try to create a suitable a suitable image 
Uh, inexpensive or premium? <laughs> inexpensive. Something is smaller that doesn't use too much space. That is cheaper than now. Than and right now it's almost five hundred dollars a dishwasher. It's not cheap. The right. So and you, you uh -huh. and you have to add the energy that you are going to use. You have uh -huh. to add the water. Some places in, in El Salvador, water is not a uh, services that you have the whole time. Exactly, exactly. And I think it depends too of the target that you want to, to, I, to abord, to abort, mm -hmm. to, to abort because uh, how, how Anna said, uh, if you want to uh, position a, a machine of that, you have to think in restaurants or hotels that you have, that you know that you have a, a big voluminous, big quantities, a big quantities of of plates or or of things that you have to to wash. A cafeteria, maybe right to a yes. restaurant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so sure. yes, but it's expensive, but depending on brand and size. But uh, I have a dishwasher. Um, not increments the increments the energy and because it's, it's a small mm -hmm. but in the restaurant I imagine is is big yes in restaurants it should be bigger right <clears throat> sources like the size of a washing machine something like that or is it smaller this is smaller is and um, here is mobile I think mm -hmm. uh, you no know, no sees no increments the energy so it doesn't use too much energy no okay so just I I think. I think because I have seen the 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 wash the washing machine, it's it's now common in every house, right? Since all women, well, no, but most of women work, yes. we have a washing machine, and probably in the future, in a very near future, the dishwasher will position also, right? It will position in a Salvador. Uh, because you see women are working and the quantity of dishes, I don't know why. I do not understand <laughs> why there are always so many dishes to wash, right? Teacher, but when you use a dishwasher, uh, dish a, dish, a, a dishwasher, <laughs> a dishwasher, uh, you have to use hot water. So, you have to add energy, uh, another, I don't know how to say, va a usar energía para usar la máquina y energía para calentar. El to make the water. I guess uh, it, it contains a thermostato, right? So that makes the water run, uh, give me a second. Sorry, there was some noise near here, but oh, ya estoy encerrado. <clears throat> okay, so we were saying it, probably in the future, right? It will go to that position and that it ha that it hasn't gained in El Salvador through the years because of the price, because of uh, 
we're accustomed to wash our own dishes by hand because of the lack of water or because of any reason, uh, it hasn't gotten a position, but probably in the future, right? It will position. So you say once a brand is positioned, it is very difficult to reposition it without destroying its credibility. Yeah. And that's why you see a, when companies make a competence that a very hard competence, sometimes they are trying to destroy the other company so they can position there. Okay. <clears throat> Well, that was talking about the, the vocabulary here. Now, check manufacturing. What is manufacturing? <coughs> mm -hmm. What is manufacturing? The process to do a product. <coughs> mm -hmm. Exactly. So, I was working, right? Uh, we say it's the process of converting the raw material components or parts into finished goods. The positioning is the strategy to make my brand be important and get a position. Okay. We mentioned first the prototype, you're going to work right now. You're going to think of a product. You're going to think about the target audience, how you will manufacture your product, and what or how or what will you do to position it, right? So you have to think about a necessity that exists. And if it doesn't, you have to create one necessity on people. Okay. But before we go to that, because I'm going to send you to working groups, before going to the groups, let's go over this vocabulary. Let's see. You're going to match the name of the steps in the process of development a new product to the definition. Let's see. What is business analysis? What is business analysis? Okay, I'm going to give you a minute for you to see all the definitions and then we can uh, check. <coughs> In duty, in duty. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, are you ready? Yes, thank you. A ver, a ver. Mm -hmm. 
What is business analysis? It's mm -hmm. present the model product to be appreciated as a whole by the potential customer. Mm -hmm. I think uh -huh. I think is the stage research has to be conducted in order to be sure that the product will be accepted. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Teacher, I think uh, carefully the same plan is important to make sure about the acceptance of the product. Yes, that's the one. Remember when you make an analysis, <clears throat> you design something and you make sure uh, because you analyze all the aspects, pros and cons, right? And you get sure about the acceptance of the product, right? <clears throat> What about test marketing? <laughs> I think it could be you have to ask for the customer's opinion. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? I don't know. <laughs> I think, I think it could be. Uh-huh. Is this stage research has to be conducted in order to be sure that the product will be accepted? Yes, this one, right? So in this stage, you are uh, testing the market. In this stage, research has to be conducted remember yesterday we were saying what was research uh, in order to be sure that the product will be accepted. So it's following the other one, right? So I analyze pros and cons and then I make a research. First, I analyze the pros and cons. I make my plan, I analyze pros, cons and everything and I say, hmm, yeah, people will accept it, but people here probably they won't like it but you're thinking only you <clears throat> or if you are with a team you and the team are analyzing here but in the number two no you say you make a test right and you make a research so you it can present mm -hmm. the model product to be appreciated as a whole by the potential customer uh-huh. What is that? El test marketing? Mm -mm. Check that you're talking about a model now. Right? When I'm oh, testing, I'm testing the market, what I want to see is uh-huh. A ver, what do you want to buy? What do you need to get? What colors do you like? So that's why you make a survey, right? And you, like, you have to ask for the customer opinion. Exactly. You ask okay. the people. Because imagine if I say, I like pink. My favorite colors are pink and purple. I'm mm -hmm. going to design a bag for people who like to go running, right? For athletes or for people that exercise and run in the street. But I like pink, I like purple. Those are my favorite colors. So I'm going to do them pink and purple. But you want men to buy them, right? Men will not buy a pink bag. They won't buy a purple one either. So you make a, a, a test or you make a survey, right? You throw it to people, like a research. And the idea is to get information from the people. So what colors would they like to buy? 
how many pockets do you want in the bag? How heavy do you want it to be? What are the things that you would like to keep inside the bag? But of course, you do not put open questions. You give options for people, right, to, to, to answer. And like that, you do the test marketing. So you're checking in this area where I'm planning to sell my product. Will people really buy it? First question is, would you like to buy a bag to wear when you run? If they tell you no, 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 your market is telling you that that's not a good product and that people will not accept it and they won't buy it, right? Okay, what about idea generation? <clears throat> Brainstorming. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's the brainstorming. This is the moment for start thinking, what are the, the product that I want to, that I may create, right? But I, I'm coming with all the ideas, but at the end I have to eliminate and get just one, right? Okay, what about launch? <coughs> It's present the model product. Uh huh. Yes, it presents. It presents the model product to be appreciated as a whole by the potential customer. Mm -hmm. So people can see the, the 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 product because you're launching it and you're showing. Look, Vaya, this is the bag. So we're going to have uh, like a key, okay, like a like a mini market, right? Just to show the product so people can see and appreciate it and touch it and see everything, right? As a whole. So maybe they won't buy it in the moment, but they are the potential customer. Potential is because they could buy or not, right? Okay, what about product development? What is product development? Once the product has been approved, it will be taken to be massively reproduced. Uh -huh, exactly. So first, you make the prototype, right? And you present it to people. People accept it and you say, look, okay, papus, let's make a lot. Let's make 1,000, right? Because now eh, it has been tested. Everybody say, yeah, sure, it's the best idea ever. So let's do it, right? Okay, concept development and testing. You have to ask for the customer opinion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Remember, in this part of the test marketing, uh, you make research, right? You make research, you investigate what, uh, what type of product would be good here. You can ask some people and everything, but in here you finish getting more information from people, right? and uh, you're getting the people's opinion. Okay, um, commercialization. What is the commercialization? Once the idea has been complete, the product must be taken to a location where customers can get it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yes, so you have the idea, everybody likes the product and everything. You already did a thousand products. Now you take it to a, to a, to a place where the customers uh, will get it. 
And that's why you see a lot of uh, entrepreneurs, right? That get together and they join to make like a, like to put like a mini market, right? In some specific areas like malls and parks. So people get there and they can show their product and start commercializing. Or they take them to different stores, right? So they sell them there too. And the last one, idea screening. Mm -hmm. That's easy because it's the last one. Uh -huh. This is step. Guarantees that ideas be discovered immediately. 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 Yes. So in this case, uh, you are sure, you get sure, right? Or you make sure that you're keeping only the good ideas. Or at the end, if you finish with only one idea for the moment, better, right? Just to make one uh, product at a time. Okay, any questions so far here? Mm -hmm. Teacher, the vocabulary is very difficult. Mm, really? You know the different, uh, you know the word uh, analysis, you know me in business, you have tests, marketing. Maybe the concepts, right? In the context you're using them right now because uh, the specialty is not commercialization or business. But um, the vocabulary is with some more complicated vocabulary last course. Yeah? So you can do it. Now it's your time to be creative. Ta -ta -ta -ta. So check. I'm going to send you to groups of three, right? You're going to get in groups of three. You're going to brainstorm ideas for a new product, a new service uh, related to the company or area where you work, okay? Uh, then you select the top three ideas for a new product, discuss the characteristics of the target market. Now you know what we refer to. When we say the target market, women over 40 years old that live in the area of San Salvador that speak English, okay? So those are examples of characteristics that you're looking for uh, in the people who are your target, to your target market, okay? Why would they be interested in your new product? Why? So you give me reasons, right? Why these people would be interested in that new product? And the last one, develop a basic concept to describe your new product. So you, this is not the moment for you to make a prototype or a sketch, but develop the concept. So you're going to tell me uh, when I call you back from the group, what are the products that you got from the beginning, which are the top three products or the top three ideas that you got? What are the characteristics of the target market that you have? Give me a reason for why they would be interested in your product, these people, right? These people of your target market and describe your product in very simple words. Mm -hmm. Questions? No, just, okay. You, uh, I told you last course, you will be very creative in this course. Um, something I like about this course is that it gives you the chance to invent. Right. 
the chance to invent, the chance to create, because you are uh, creating your new product. So you can come up with very good ideas at the moment of creating. And then you're going to be sharing that with the rest of the class. I'm going to call attendance before, before I send you there, <clears throat> because it's almost nine. Um, Adriana Sofia. <coughs> Adriana Present. Sofia. Ana Alicia. Present teacher. Ana Grisel. Ana Grisel. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. Diego. Diego. Eh, Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Elda Lore, Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Ah, ya le cambié el nombre. Elmer Fabricio. Present teacher. Grace Michelle. Present teacher. Yvonne Marcela. No here. Jennifer Elizabeth. Jennifer. Present, present, present teacher. Okay, Jessica Lisette. Jessica. Jose Alberto. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Lisette Dayanara. Present teacher. Nubia Sulema. Present teacher. Rebeca Marcela. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Víctor Manuel. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. Jose Alfredo. Present teacher. Okay. Pacha. Ivón Marcela, ¿verdad? Ivón Marcela. Ivón Marcela. No está. Ivón Marcela. Teacher, al parecer tuvo problemas con su conexión, me dice. Mm, ya. Ahorita está reconectando. Va. Es que me dice que no la llamé, pero la llamé y no, no me contestó. Va, ok. Check, check. Nos vamos a los grupos. Y como estamos en empresas combinadas... <clears throat> Quiero ver 22 groups of three. Sí. Los mando este automáticamente, ¿verdad? Y que Dios los socorra, no, mentira. <laughs> oh, you have people of the same company. Carla, yes. Yes. Vaya, pues los que tengan, los que tengan suerte, lo voy a mandar este. Ah, miren, vaya. 
los voy a dejar a ustedes que seleccionen sala. Vaya Carla y Carla y Edwin, váyanse a la uno. ¿Les aparece? Sí. Es que es la primera vez que los mando a que escojan ustedes. Si ¿Sí les aparece, no les aparece. No, no sé a dónde. Y ahorita, y hoy que las que la a break a room. No. No. Yo... Teacher, a mí me aparece. No, no denle el clic y ahí aparece. Pruebe, pruebe. No les da opción. Ah, sí. sí. Siete opciones. Sí, da opción. Vaya, vaya. Este, vaya, Carla y Edwin, váyanse a la uno. Es que es primera vez que lo hacemos así de que ustedes escojan. Hay que probar de todo. A ver si funciona. A ver, este, ¿quiénes más están con compañero de trabajo? ¿Quiénes tienen compañero de trabajo acá? Grace and me, teacher. Vaya, váyanse a la dos. Ok. Blanco y yo. Váyanse a la tres. ¿Quién más? Yo perdí un rato y tengo compañero de trabajo. ¿Quién? Karen. Karen Estefan. Karen Estefan y quién? Yo, es que lo que pasa es que Zoom me sacó por el ¿Quién? mal internet y me quiere decir. No, 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 no es. No es... Reconectar. No, cada quien se va a ir a un grupo, espérenme. A ver, Elmer Fabricio, what do you do? Si no a todos los que no se han unido. Teacher. No eh, se ha mandado yo. Ajá, Adriana. With eh, Diego. Vaya, vaya. Ah, pero Diego está. Pero, ajá, Diego, no sé si Diego está. Son los oyentes. Sí. Ah, ajá, Elmer. I have a co-worker here. Who? Do you have? Or no? I don't have. I okay, don't have. I vaya. Don't. Todos los demás, los, yo los mando entonces. Teacher, yo no me puedo, yo voy a la tres, pero no sé cómo unirme, perdón. Bien, Jenny, Jennifer. Sí. sí. Vaya, ya la mando, Jennifer, ¿con quién? Gracias. Iba? Con Ivonne. Vaya. Ivonne, ya vino Ivonne. Sí, por aquí estoy. Ah, vaya, Hola. Vaya. Hello, Ivonne. Ya la mando a la tres. Vaya, chequen. Adriana, Sofía. Go to number four. Ok. Con Ana. Ana Grisel. Go to number five with David. And with Elda. Y vamos a mandar a Elmer with José Alberto and José Alfred. Nubia. And Victor. Va, ahí están. Únanse allí donde los mandé. Chequen si se pueden unir. Vaya, los demás los voy a mandar a los grupos que están solo de uno hoy, porque tengo grupos. Digo, de dos. <coughs> Va, ahí está. Check the invitation. Try to join. <coughs> nice. Hi, hi. Hi, teacher. Vaya, you can start first with the idea, uh, with the brainstorming, right? Idea generation. Teacher, brain, brainstorm, eh, me lo traduce como lluvia de ideas, así es. Sí, una lluvia de ideas. As the first thing you will do is write all the ideas that come to your mind. Como qué cosas le gustaría a ustedes crear de producto. Or service. Oh, service, exactly. Can be a service too. Uh, 
I think a consulting service is right. And consulting. Supervision. Service. Service. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Drawing service. Mm, development projects. Environment consulting service. Como que? What do you mean when you say environment service? Eh, Servicios de consultoría de medio ambiente. Ok. O es envi environmental o environment. Environmental. Environmental. Uh -huh. Consulting service. Tax asesoría tributaria, teacher, tax advice. Eh, tributario, busquemos. Vamos a ver. Tax. Entonces es como tax, solo tax. That be consultancies, tax consultancies. Consult de consultar, ajá. Consultancies. Consultancies. Grace. Hola. Nunca más nadie. Producto de servicio. The products of service. Cumplimiento de medicamentos a domicilio. A un servicio relacionado con la farmacia. How do you say that in English? I don't know. <laughs> Check in the dictionary. Vamos, vamos, dictionary. Busquense el, el, el don, don Cambridge. <laughs> Pero ese sería como dar a... Eh, Dar asistencia. Ajá. Grace. Como dar asistencia, que llegue una enfermera a la casa del cliente. Ajá. ¿Does your pharmacy give that service? What? ¿Does your pharmacy give that service? Uh, no, only in the sala de ventas. Uh -huh. In the branch, only one. Okay. Just in the in the in the pharmacy, right? But they don't go outside. Yes, um the asistencia médica. Um, they have a doctor. Yes. No, 
sire. Entonces, sire. Podría, eh, wheels o solid tires. Por mí está bien. Va. It can be a new, a new service. Ajá, new service. Ajá. But y it... top three, que sería eh, ensamblado y podría ser, ¿cómo, ¿cómo se le llamaría cuando querés desensamblar? Ama? Ya se me olvidó. Eh, desensamblado, digamos. Y otro podría ser eh, armado, armado es la palabra, amor. armado de llantas. Ay, no sé cómo se dice. Creo que, que Henry nos ayudaría. Porque, y, pero puede ser siempre lo mismo de, de ensemble, ensemble, assemble. Assemble. Assemble and disassemble. <coughs> ah, ok. Desassemble. Ok, this, discuss, discuss the characteristic of the target market. Mm. Target is an industry, industrial, industrial. Industrial? Industrial, industrial marketing. marketing. Ajá. Okay. Yes. Develop a basic concept to describe your new product. They look a basic concept. Ah, okay. Eh, or, ensemble and disassemble. Uh, assemble. Of wheels as or assemble or and disassemble of, of gears. No, tires. 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 Uh -huh. tires. tires. Share the result of the step about to develop a new product with another group. Mm -hmm. okay, well, but we need three ideas. Or three ideas. And we have just only mm -hmm. one. Uh -huh, but remember, first you make all the ideas that come to your mind, and then you separate and get just like three. The top. Mm -hmm, the top okay. three. Okay. New product is a pallet jack. Jenny. Uh, uh -huh. pallet, eh, jack and pallet truck. Pallet truck. Okay. It's a new um, product. And a new product is a... Um, a I don't know how to say um, repuestos. Tus actividades que, que no sean precisamente de razonamiento. Activities. Activities. Activities about thinking. I am, I am saying things that can develop your personal can help to the, the personal development. Personal or critical thinking. No, we, we are talking about, we are thinking and brainstorm about create a product who help the- That help. That help mm -hmm. childs to include, to include them in a regular school Even even they have a special characteristic characteristic. For example, a Asperger is the. But when you say products, what do you mean by medicine? No, we are uh, no, it's, we are it's... talking spaces. For oh. example, summer camp, inclusive camp. Inclusive homework club. Mm -hmm. A special teacher. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> yeah, because that's not easy. It's not easy to work with children with a, with a special 
a characteristics. It's not easy at all, believe me. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can check the product <laughs> <laughs> or the idea. <laughs> no, pues, it's okay. Later on, you have to develop your product. Right now, you're brainstorming. Later on, you will have the chance to develop it and to share it. Uy, ya pues ya no. <laughs> oh, huh? <laughs> I think it's a good idea. Yeah. Yes, why not? We can develop, develop it <laughs> so much in little things that all we have all other teachers who are other teachers here uh, Adriana's no teacher no, no. Okay, you will become a teacher after this <laughs> <laughs> okay I can teach it. I can teach them about Seriously, logistics. We can change the product. <laughs> can teach them about what? About logistics. Yeah, why not? Everything. And they will have some fun. Yes. Yes, yes. Adriana, Marcel, and Adriana, Sofia, are you sure that we are going to continue using this product? Yeah, why not? I want it. Hmm. You're not offering a product, Anna. You're offering a service. A service. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a very good service. Yes. Maybe we can say. You said 10 years, right? Is Anna Grisel here? Yes, teacher. Okay. I'm here. I'm here. And for the soci, soci level, nivel socioeconomico, Mm -hmm. uh, level associate um, high class class oh, maybe we can say for uh, for athletic people athletic um, people oh, yeah. And athletic and um, running, running people. Mm -hmm. And the and the people focus in focus on in the gym. Mm -hmm. Okay. People who want to be fit. Okay. People who want, want to be fit. People want to be fit. <clears throat> and why will they be interested in you? And the second question is why would they be interested in your new product? Or oh, um or continue continue with that target market? Uh, I think we have the, the target market. Okay. Mm -hmm. so why would they be interested in your new product? Um, uh, the product is interesting because uh, for everyone is a necessity for for activities for for doing in activities 
It's a necessity. For being, for being active. For, be, for, for being, being active. Act. Uh -huh. Or for keeping in shape. <laughs> right? Okay. Shape. Shape. It depends yeah. on what people want, right? Some people are worried because they are working in a, in a place where they are sedentary and they need to move. While others, is the purpose is to be in shape. So it depends on what they want, right? Okay. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, in the air, earphones is a is a um, it's a necessity because the people the people what distract for a for listening to music maybe for concentrating the in the activity yeah <laughs> go on okay and the bottle and with the bottle And my my product. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my product is necessary for but um, mm -hmm. the hot temperature mm -hmm. in this. Teacher, yes. Uh, my 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 product ocean is a uh, uh, <laughs> the bottle of botella. The bottle. The bottle. Um, Auto freeze bottle. <laughs> Ooh. <that's> okay. <laughs> <laughs> the term, so you name drink is uh, the thermo thermo ice. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. your, your your drink will always be cold. Yeah. Be cold. Yeah. Is uh is I idea. Okay, yeah, that's a great idea because uh, nobody likes to have a, a hot drink, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that way you can have your drink cold. All the time. All the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you done? It's a no major product. A what? Did, can you repeat that? What did you say? This, this is a, a fact, characteristic. Mm -hmm. I think it's um, offered to the customer the idea for having um, the drinks always cold. Always cold. Exactly. Okay. And this, this idea teacher have a uh, many target market that the um, people from to, to work. Students. 
uh, yeah. students. Uh, people work and uh, athletes. Uh -huh. Athletes. Athletes, uh -huh. employees. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, they may want to have their drink all the time. Mm -hmm. Do it. Good market. Yeah. And now we have to develop a basic concept to describe our new uh -huh. product. How, how would you describe the product? <sighs> but it's not the same thing as uh, the why the people is interested in my product. No, aquí me va a decir en qué consiste. Ah, en qué consiste. Okay, okay, okay. No sé si deja de compartir, sigo compartiendo. No, ya no está compartiendo. You're not, you're not sharing, Elmer. Okay. Wait a moment. Wait a moment. Can you hear me? Yeah. Now, yes. Can you see? Se le escucha, Elmer. Can you hear me? Hi. Yes, Hi. yes. Yes, Elmer. We can hear you. Okay, okay. Can you see my screen? Yes. yes. Okay. How are you doing here? I finished the activity, teacher. You finished. Yes. Okay, very good. Let's see, yeah, you're the last group I come to visit. Bueno, let's go then. We're going to wait for everybody to come. <clears throat> Teacher. Hola. Yo le envié un mensajito. Sí, lo vi. Le dije que, que sí la llamé, pero quizás no me oyó. Quizás en ese momento la sacó, la sacó Zoom. Um, puede ser. Sí, es probable. Porque okay. aquí sí la llamé. 
pero quizá en ese momento la sacó, pero sí ya le puse present, Marcela. Gracias. Ok. Vamos a ver si sí me dijo una de sus compañeritas que la había sacado eh, Zoom. Ya Zoom así se porta con uno de repente. <ríe> a ver, a ver. Now, I guess everybody here, right? Let's see. Yeah. Ok. Who wants to chair? I need a volunteer to chair. We want to do it at the first time. Okay. Uh, at first <laughs> we don't know what we did but <laughs> go ahead let's do it let's share it uh, we were talking about children who has special needs so mm -hmm. we we are creating services not a product okay yeah, so we have uh brainstorms ideas like this for example we were we were describing the the kids in the group we were describing the families and the needs that each of them present so the ideas that we had was inclusive summer camp inclusive camp inclusive homework club parents can come to watch our part can can come to watch or participate in classes or activities. Ah, that would be great that they participate so they learn how to work with their children later. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. And they, they, we want to create empathy. A virtual session of activities, uh, if the kids can come to school, so we can open classes so they, they don't uh, leave or fail or they don't fail they don't fail in classes um parents parents therapy sessions because they need it sometimes they feel alone they feel no they feel lonely they don't know how to excuse me they may feel frustrated frustrated yeah so if they can share their feelings with other families that they are living the same thing uh, they are going to know that other people is through in this situation too. They can share ideas to what is working for them, right? Mm -hmm. How they can help each other. Okay. So the other idea that we have was sometimes family are always stressed by the situation uh, by the economy, by the, I don't know how to say, the people exclude them. Uh, se sienten excluidos. Exactly. So they are always stressed in, in family. So we were thinking about inclusive session games for families. But that kind of session games are with families that yeah, that everybody has one kid with special needs. Uh -huh. So when they are when they are playing, they are going to notice that they are not the only family that they have. Other kids have to have help to stand, to play, to talk, to to follow the instructions. So they are going to know that other people uh, are in the same situation. So maybe they can laugh they can uh, feel liberated liberal i don't know um Free. but <laughs> uh -huh, but but they are going to 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 laugh one time and say other people it is as me not alone right they yeah. can feel support it's not alone yes uh -huh. so then we choose three top ideas for the new services and we decide that maybe the best will be inclusive summer camp inclusive station games for families inclusive homework clubs verdad y eh, no sé si adriana o, o la otra adri quieren eh, decir el number three el discuss okay. the characteristic of the target market 
Okay, we think uh, the our target uh, for the principal ideas are children with mejor, es? families with special needs uh, and families that wants to create empathy and solidarity because uh, it's not necessary that the family has a special kid because uh, sometimes you can you can you you can uh, want to inclusive your kids uh, to see these kind of children with normally and don't uh, try uh, different because they are they have a special uh, need. Mm -hmm, exactly. Okay, very good. Excellent, very good. Wow. It was difficult, teacher. Of course, of course. Imagine once you, you start doing that. <laughs> okay, very good. Aha, uh -huh. who wants to be my next volunteer? Victor? Okay, okay. Thank you. We are, okay, I, I am going to share my screen. Sure. Okay, please uh, notice me when you are seeing my screen. Yeah, we can see it. Okay. Uh, I work with, with uh, Nubia and Rebecca Marcella. Uh, this, this was our very stormy. Is the top three ideas are uh, manufacturing classes for kids and sport classes for the World Cup and men's suits, uh, the, the top three of our ideas. And uh, our target market is uh, this. I don't know if Rebecca, you want to read the target market? Yes, target market, gender for male, feminine, boys and girls, and teenagers. And second target uh, is territory for Central America. Central America, not just the country, not just a city, right? But Central America, okay? It's sporting only Central America. Nice. This is the characteristics of our target market for the for the product. Okay, why uh, they why will they interest in our products? Um, Nubia, can can you read? Yes, I can. Uh, number one, the World Cup is in November 2022. Number two, quality of the product is unique. Number three, competitive price. Number four, cool design. Number five, attractive, attractive earnings. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. This is the the principal reason for when you when you are looking for investment is the first is the earning. Exactly. So I so I when when you have uh, people that want to invest in something, the the first of all is how how much uh, wanna be earnings. Okay. And the concept is uh, our product is manufactured under highest standard of quality. We get the best raw material for warranty, durability, and comfort and comfort for the users. We innovate our design every season to be on fashion always. Nice. Nice, nice. Okay, that's course, all. Especially with the World Cup so close. It's the first time I that I remember that the World Cup is in November, right? Because it has always been in July since so, I remember. It has always been in July, but this year you say it is in November, right? So and I was November. going to ask you, when is it going to happen? How do you know it is in November? In November. How do you know? Because it was in the news. Really? Oh my God. Yes. Watch the news. 
Okay. Oh, that's nice. That's oh, yeah. When exactly do they ex do they start? Twenty two. But when? When in November? November twenty one. November twenty first. Oh, fantastic! I will be on vacation. <laughs> nice. Ooh, yeah, I will be able to watch it. Yeah. Uh, you know, I like put I like soccer, but just the World Cup. I never oh. watch the <laughs> I never watch the other games. I only watch the World Cup, but the World Cup is like I I like to watch all the games. But the rest of the of the game of the the ones that are just from one country and another, it's like no. But the World Cup is my favorite. Well, I'm going to move right now to, <clears throat> to, to, to explain something to you because this will be in the, in the assignment, right? That you have for today. And it's the present perfect. Later on, I want to listen to more people eh, sharing your ideas, right? For the product. Look at the examples. Eh, have you lost your mind? Yes, I have. Oh, no, I haven't. Have they always sold everything they offer? Yes, they have. No, they haven't. The structure for the present perfect is the auxiliary have or has, depending on the subject, and the verb in past participle. Remember, the past participle is the last line of the verbs. Remember when we were using past voice, right? So this is past participle. The one we use for past voice and the one we use for present perfect. And that's the ending, ido, adbo, right? Because you say, ha comido, ha vendido, ha creado, a, e, okay? Ido, Ado. So be careful that you do not use here the past simple because we don't say yo he creé, yo he vendí. No, you say yo he vendido, right? Yo he creado. So this past participle is the ending ido, ado. Okay? Now, when do we use the present perfect? We use it to talk about actions that is started oh sometime in the past we don't have a specific time but that action continues in the present yeah it may or may not depending in the if the sentence is negative you for example you can say i haven't gone to the zoo lately right i haven't gone to the zoo lately so the i'm talking about an action that started in the past but con, may not continue to the present because i still haven't uh, gone to this yes so you can tell me um, about things that you have done and i say well i have worked in the same place for over 25 years Yes, I have been a teacher for 27 years, almost like that, okay? You say, I have lived in the same house for three years. I have played soccer for two hours. So it doesn't matter if you're talking about a something that you have done for a very long period of time or something that you have done for a short period of time. But remember, we're talking about an action that is started in the past, but still continues in the present. Or you can see the result in the present, right? For example, when you tell me, well, I haven't eaten dinner. What is the result now that I can see that you're hungry, right? I haven't eaten dinner. The result in the present is that I'm hungry. 
I haven't eaten dinner today. And why I use the present perfect? Because the day hasn't finished. It's almost 10 and probably at 10, when we finish the class, you will go have dinner, right? So remember, we use the present uh, perfect when we talk about something that started in the past and continues, but the time hasn't finished yet. So if you are talking about an activity that is started in the past, like here, that started in the past, but I know exactly when, like yesterday, it's a finished action, right? Then I will use the simple past, not the present perfect. I don't know if that's clear for you. So if you're talking about an activity that is started and finished, use the simple past. But if you're talking about an activity that is started, started and continues, we use the present perfect. For example, when I tell you I have worked for the same company for 26 years, I still work there. That's why I can use this in the present perfect. But if I say I worked with a lawyer for two years, I finished. The action started in the past and finished in the past. I worked with a lawyer for two years before I graduated from the university. Yeah? So I already graduated from the university. So that means that that is an action that is finished. Yeah? So in that case, I'm talking about simple past. But if I talk about an activity that still continues, use the present perfect. I don't know if you have any question here. Mm? No? Have you traveled to another country? Have you traveled to another country? Yes, I have. Okay. So you can say, I have traveled to another country. And you can use the present perfect because you are still alive. And you expect to have the chance of traveling one more time, at least one more time, right? So I have traveled to another country. Or you can uh, say this year. I have traveled to another country this year. But that means that you will probably do it again this year. I have traveled to another country this year. Have you traveled to another country this year? Hmm? No? No. No. I haven't. No, I haven't traveled to another country this year. Okay, but probably the year hasn't finished, right? Probably in the rest of the year, we may have the chance. Check this. This is the structure for the affirmative. So you say, I have at the verb in past participle. Remember, past participle, no simple past, right? The case of regular verbs is that the simple past and the past participle is exactly the same for regular verbs. But if you're using an irregular verb, you will see how the verb finishes in the past participle. So you have write, grot, written, right? Write, grot, written. Then you go for the last one, right? For the past participle. I have worked, you have written, we have worked, they have written. But if we are using have, if we're using he, she, it, we're going to use has. He has worked, she has written, it has run. Yeah? So we use have for I, you, with they, and has for he, she, it. 
And then we go to the negative. Espérenme que este mi mouse. Ahí está. Interrogative. Have I? What happens is that the auxiliary goes to the beginning, right? Before the subject. Have you worked? Have you worked before? Before when? Before today, right? Have you worked before? Have I worked? Hmm, I don't remember. Have we worked? Have they worked? So we put the auxiliary at the beginning and then the subject and the verb in the past participle, right? Have they written a letter? Have they written the examples? Has she worked hard? Has he written a postcard? Okay. So, have or has? Just the position changes, right? And then the verb in the past participle. Now, when you make a negative sentence, remember, you use, yes, I have, or no, I haven't worked. Have you worked? No, I haven't worked. Have they worked? Mm -mm. No, they haven't worked. Has she written a letter? Yeah, she has written a letter. Or oh, no, she hasn't written a letter. Okay. We use the auxiliary. It has the same, right? Has for he, she, it. And have for uh, you, we, they. And of course, with the contraction, right? Apostrophe and apostrophe T. Any question here regarding the structure? No, no question. No. Okay, Pacha. Now let's go to the examples then. What you're going to do here is complete the statements, uh, use the words in parentheses, right? If you see you have had bad, you have to be very careful and pay attention to the subject that you're using. If you have I, you, we, they, you use have, but if you have he, she, it, Maria, Juan, Pedro, we use has. Okay, so be careful. Pay attention to the subject that you are using there. Go ahead. Good luck. <laughs> Let's do it. And then we check it. We still have time to check it. I'm going to call attendance while you finish. I'm going to stop sharing. After attendance, we check. Uh, Adriana Sofia. Present. Ana Alicia. Present teacher. Ana Grisel. Present teacher. David Alexander. Present teacher. Diego. Diego. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Elmer. Present teacher. Grace Michelle. Present teacher. Yvonne Marcela. Yvonne Present. Ian. Gray, uh, Jennifer Elizabeth. Present. Jessica Lisette. Jose Alberto. Present teacher. 
Karen Janet. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Eh, Lizette Dayanara. Present teacher. Nubia. Present teacher. Rebeca Marcela. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Víctor Manuel. Present teacher. Karen Estefani. Present teacher. Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Nice. Nice, nice. Okay. Pacha. Are you ready to check? Yes. Yes. Sí, ¿verdad? No. No yet. Finish. No yet. One more minute. No me hagan la ley del silencio. El mi yes, el mi no. Sí, no, sí, 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 podría no. nuevamente mostrar dónde están las reglas. Por. Ok. Espérenme que este mouse tiene vida propia. ¿This one o the previous one? No, 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 de la anterior. Ok. Sí. Fíjense que cuando hablamos del present, aquí no estamos quedando bien cortos con el present perfect, porque cuando hablamos del present perfect hablamos de experience, right? Hablamos de experience, por ejemplo, si alguna vez ha hecho algo. Cuando le pregunta, have you ever traveled abroad? Aquí solamente le pregunta, ¿has hecho esto? ¿Has hecho lo otro? Pero le puede preguntar como, como experiencia, ¿alguna vez has viajado? ¿Ya? Yeah. ¿Have you ever traveled? ¿Have you ever spoken to a foreigner person? So in this case, eh, we can add to the question, we can add ever. Have you ever visited the Sahara Desert? Okay. So ever. Ever means alguna vez. Yeah. So that's another another way of using the uh, the present perfect to talk about uh, experience. Vaya, let's go back to the exercise. Okay. Um, are you ready with number one? A lot of companies? Has grown. Has or have? Has. Out. Why have? Why has? Out. Because it's a lot of companies, it's in plural. Exactly, plural, right? So we use have. And remember that the verb is in past participle, right? A lot of companies have grown because of well-fat new product line. Now, number two, new members of a product line Have attracted. Mm -hmm. Have attracted. Again, members. Have attracted. 
new members of a product line have attracted new market segments. What about number three? We have, we have decided, decided oh. to expand on our product. Great. We have decided. We have decided to spend on our product. Uh, number four, some companies. Haven't. Haven't succeeded. Mm -hmm. Haven't succeeded. Yeah, some companies haven't succeeded. Succeeded, ¿verdad? Haven't succeeded when launching a new product because of their lack of knowledge about the target audience. Number five, questions? Have you ever? Mm -hmm. Have you, you ever? Have ever bought any uh -huh. Have you ever bought any highly recognized product lines? Let me say yes, I have, but no, I haven't. Number six. Have you company? Have your company? Have or has? Has. Yeah, because here it's singular, right? Your company. company yes. Has your company designed. designed mm -hmm. Has your company designed any new product or service recently? Mm -hmm. Any question here so far? No question. Oh, nice, nice, nice. No question. No question. Great. No question. Well, now you're ready for doing assignment one and assignment two. <laughs> okay. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Question. Vamos a ver, se queda conmigo Ana. Teacher, yo todavía no me voy a quedar. No, usted se va a quedar, ya le digo cuándo, Adriana, porque hoy me la han puesto al final. Me, se queda el día 22. Se queda más allá. Más allá, más allá, más allá. Así es que vaya apuntando todas las preguntas. <ríe> tiene, tiene chance. Bueno, eh, it was nice to be with you today. See you next eh, tomorrow. Yeah, next week. Okay, teacher, next week. <ríe> Se aprovechan de mis lapsus brutos. Ah, see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good night. Yeah, good night, night. Good night. Good night. Bye, teacher. Bye bye. A dormir. <laughs> bye bye. Teacher and Anna, sorry, we have, tenemos una situación. Ajá. Eh, lo que pasa es que tengo entendido que mandaron mis documentos tarde o no sé, este, al final, por eso es que le preguntaba si me quedaba ahora o no. No, se queda el día 22. Pero al final, que, ajá. Es que me la han puesto de oyente. Ajá. Después de los 20 está agregada. Entonces, uh -huh. usted es la número 22. Entonces, el día 22 se queda conmigo. Teacher. Hola, Diego. Hola, buenas noches, teacher. Buenas noches. Eh, 
Mira, aprovechando la, la, la observación que le hace Adriana, perdón, eh, mm. no sé si aquel día le quedó claro mi caso no, sobre yo sí. la nota. Sí sí, 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 sí. Ah, vaya, es que el que iba a estar registrado como gente iba a ser yo, no ella. No, es que es diferente. Una cosa es que usted se conecte como oyente y otra cosa uh -huh. es que por entregar los documentos tardes esté como oyente. Ah, ok. Es okay. diferente porque vaya, ella aunque en la lista aparezca como oyente porque se agregó después, pero ella uh -huh. está activa, ¿verdad? Ok. En su caso, usted está trabajando y está oyendo. Ajá, sí, ajá, okay. es que como, ajá, como yo le comentaba, eh, yo ya no iba a seguir, pero hubo un teléfono descompuesto en mi trabajo y mandaron los documentos, me inscribieron, entonces yo le dije, miren, no puedo seguir, ¿verdad? O sea, por mi horario, mi nuevo puesto de trabajo, transición y etcétera, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, eh, eso fue lo que me ofrecieron, quedarme como oyente conectado, ¿verdad? Sí, lo que puede hacer es... Eh... Ver los videos, entonces, así, ¿verdad? Alguno que tenga, pues, como que esta tarea no tengo duda, vea, no sé cómo va. Ajá. Le echa sí, un... de hecho, de forma, al... yo tengo que trabajar y me dijeron que en, en momentos libres, pues, puedo participar y estar eh, presente, ¿verdad? Ajá, exacto. Sí, yo por okay. eso lo sigo mandando a los grupos porque algo, algo logrará escuchar. Sí, sí, sí. De vez en cuando, cuando tengo ahí cerca el teléfono en el escritorio, pues lo veo y eso, ¿verdad? Pero sí, voy a tratar de participar cuando eh, me quede un chancecito y pues por lo demás me voy a estar conectando así como oyente. Ok, perfecto. It's ok. Gracias, Tichel, y gracias, Ana, y por haberle quitado el tiempo. <risa> Buenas noches. Buenas noches, cuídese, Adriana. Bien, Tichel, gracias. Ok, Thank you. Bye -bye. good night. Good night. <risa> Ay, Diego, suerte. Hi, hi, Ana. Hello. Do you have any teacher? questions, Ana? No, teacher, I don't have questions. <laughs> no. Es que está fácil, ¿verdad? Right now, the topic is easy. Eh, the topic that we are going to study tomorrow is mm, more complicated. It has more, uh -huh. more, more, okay. Oh. It has more things to do. But the one for the present perfect, I guess we had studied the present perfect before, right? Yes, you teach uh, us yeah, I about it. Yeah, I remember that we studied this before. So it's not like a big deal. It's, it's not totally new for you, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how are you doing with the platform? Beginning. Se me congeló. Hi, hi. Teacher. Se me quedó. Me se me quedó congelada. Ay, so sorry. <laughs> But I'm here. <laughs> no, yesterday I can connect to the class because at home had, bueno, en un montón de lugares llovió bien fuerte. Ah, Entonces, yes. Terrible, terrible. Entonces, nuestro internet ya vio usted, ¿verdad? Así que. Yeah, it, it rained terribly yesterday. Hija, apague eso, por favor. Hoy, vaya, hoy yo me quedé congelada, fíjese. <risa> De repente, ¿yo qué? Sí. Yo aquí el mundito loco. Vaya, ya. Yeah. So, yeah, the, the rain yesterday was terrible. And I know when that happens, it's very difficult because the internet gets crazy or the lights go soft. So there are some problems with the connection. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. 
But uh, one of today oh, it rained early. It rained early, right? We didn't. No, rain. today no. No, we no. don't have. We didn't. Uh huh. We haven't. We haven't. Yeah. We because haven't. we haven't because it is very possible that before we get to midnight we will have a rain, or we, or at least before we get up tomorrow <laughs> yeah <laughs> so we can say it hasn't rained yet but it will probably rain in the mean tomorrow or later yes, mm -hmm. yes I think so. because in the afternoon when i came i was coming at about four and something it was getting very dark totally dark and i saw the clouds coming and i said oh oh it will rain, but I don't remember if it rained or not. No, maybe no, right? No. no. Mm -mm. Uh -huh. But it looked like if it was going, I don't know if it were uh, the sun that we're getting from the sun. No, but they, they were black, <sighs> black, uh, black clouds, but very black clouds. Could be, teacher, could be. They were very, very black clouds. Like if it was going to rain, but I said, oh, oh, we will have a very heavy rain. But no. Mm -hmm. But uh, fortunately, it didn't. And we finished. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thanks, <Yeah>. God. <laughs> because it's terrible when it rained very hard and the electricity goes off. Sí. Well, Anna, then have a nice night and see you tomorrow. Nice. Uh, yes, teacher, thank you. Okay. And continue getting better about your I my shoulder. Yeah, suddenly I was like, oh, but I don't know why it is so stressed out. It's very hard. And when it when it gets very hard, is that I get pain. Yes. So I have here my medicine. Metocarbamol. <sighs> But I haven't taken a pill for about two weeks. So it's okay. I can I can take one today for mm -hmm. sleeping. Nice. For sleeping well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, because if I sleep well, I have <clears throat> I feel better the next day. But if I don't Yes, sleep well, of course. Of course. Mm -hmm. But it seems that today I will need a pill. The therapy was not so good today because they are moving my arm. And as it was like moving, I got like, oh, I got. You were doing exercise. I the thing is that in the therapy, they are moving my arm because they say that I have to move it. But it's sometimes painful. Yeah, yes. it's hard. And, and they did the things in a different order today. Because mm -hmm. first I got some chocks, electric chocks. Mm -hmm. Then mm -hmm. I make the exercise. And then I get a compressor here. I, mm -hmm. I finish like, okay, uh, very relaxed. But today it was the opposite. First I got the compressor. Then I got the chocks and then the exercise. So mm -hmm. by the time I got the exercise, I had to go back to work. So it was like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Was way to relax after the exercise. Oh my God. Then I have been with pain the whole day. So next Tuesday, next Thursday, I will tell the, the physiotherapist, please, 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 not that order because mm -mm, it's not good for me. It doesn't work. It doesn't work for me. Yes. yes. Imagine just different order. Yes, it is true. When I, when I, it's been like maybe 14 years ago, mm -hmm. I went to a therapy because I fell down in the steps and I broke my coccyx. So oh. I have, I have to have these shocks. Mm -hmm. But one day, maybe she did it in a different way. I don't know. But I was like, so tired like I was doing a lot of exercises yeah. and I can move it my my back and I was saying no what happened what happened and I realized that it was the shock that the 
therapy gave uh -huh. me. Yeah, it, the thing is that the exercise was not in the order that I do it regular. Uh, he moved my hand more because I'm supposed to move it more as the time is passing. But <laughs> nope, that was mm -hmm. very painful. So, so sorry, teacher. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I was. Talk. Take your pill and go to sleep and take the rest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Have a good okay, night. Miss. Good night to you too. Good. Uh, see you tomorrow. Bye bye.